I'm Jess and this is my dog. She's also called Jess, but you might know her as the Worried Whippet. We're heading into a long, cold winter. We're in an old Victorian house. We're having building work done. We all know that the cost of heating your home is going through the roof. So I thought I'd make this video to show you some of the ways that we keep Jess warm during the colder months. It's a combination of clothes, blankets, beds, loads more. So stick around and find out which are our favorites. We start with the basics, which is that Jess and any Whippet needs a really good jumper. If you've got a Whippet, if you're thinking about getting a Whippet, you probably already know that Whippets are really cold dogs. So they basically have very little body fat and only a short layer, a short thin layer of fur. So they get chilly really easily. Um, you might have seen them get like the tremblies where they're kind of shaking with the cold. You might have heard their teeth chatter. They're just super cold animals and we have to take good care of them. So staples are a jumper. We've got a bunch of different jumpers for Jess. We've got more clothes than anybody would need, any human would need, let alone any dog, but uh, I am just going to show you some of our favourites. This jumper is from Red Hand for dogs. They're fantastic, they come in a bunch of different colours. We've got a few different options. This I think is definitely my favourite. They've got a wrong neck, which I'll show you when it's on, why that's really good, and no legs, so they're quite easy to get on and off. Um, and we'll just show you now. Yeah, you put your jumper on. Good girl. Oh, yes. You can see that it's a proper, like, human style roll neck here. And then this is what it looks like with the neck rolled up. So when it's colder, having it rolled up just gives her a little bit more coverage and you can even roll it up over their ears if it's super cold because their ears do start getting chilly. If you're out and about and you see a whippet in the winter, they're always wearing a jumper or a coat and quite often you'll find that it's a red hound one. They're just like really simple and like I think one of the best options out there. I'll show you some of the other options that we wear though, just so that you can get a sense for some different styles. This is a really nice teal jumper. It's a more like relaxed slouchy vibe and it's got very little legs, so it will do sort of upper leg coverage, so um, it's a bit warmer in that sense, and a bit longer, but less tight fitted, so maybe better for kind of lounging around at home in, or if it gets cold in your house. Um, I'll show you the fabric, it's a really nice, it's a really nice fabric, really like cosy. You want to show them what this looks like on? Good girl. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. This one is actually a little bit big for her. And again, this one is red hand for dogs. Good girl. It's a bit early for this, but we do also have a version of their Christmas jumper, which we really love in December. Okay, they're your jumpers. Those were only red hand ones, but there are loads of other brands that make really nice whippet jumpers. Do drop a name in the comment if there's one that you particularly like. Next up, if you're going out, you desperately need a really good coat. We've only got one coat really for Jess. We've got lots of sort of jumpers, pajamas, etc. But one coat because we absolutely love it. It's called the Sorin. It's made by a brand called Ockham, who make just the most beautiful clothes. I always say this, but I think it's the nicest thing that anybody in our household owns, like Ollie and myself included. So it's basically like a really light but warm waterproof fabric on the outside and then it's fleece lined on the inside so it keeps her really warm. Um, it's a bit muddy at the moment because uh, we have been out in it recently. If you want to see Jess do a whole day out in this coat then there's a video right here of a day out we did in Bath. It's a really easy one this one, it's got poppers on the legs. You can see just how nice it looks on her, um, it has got some mud on because we've been wearing it out and about. It washes really easily so we get this muddy all the time then we put it through the wash, there's washing instructions when you get it. They are quite pricey, this one was a gift from our camp, um, but we would 110% buy it again. Also, this will be our third winter that we're going into with it and it's in absolutely pristine condition. Okay, so you've got your coat, you've got your jumpers. The next thing that we really like to have is a pair of pajamas, which is basically very similar to the jumper, but with long legs. So this one here, as you can see, it's got back legs as well as front legs, and it's got like a little sort of cowly roll necky thing for her to keep her neck warm. This one's from Loco Pet Apparel who actually make clothes for Italian greyhounds. Jess has a really small whippet so she fits in their biggest sizes. Um, it's really comfy, it's basically like a tracksuit for dogs. But yeah, these are her cosy clothes so maybe we'll wear the coat on the way for a walk and we'll wear this if we're going to the pub in the evening or something and walking on the way there. Okay, so here it is. As you can see, it looks really comfy. It's got this like nice cosy cow neck. I think the longer neck ones are better so if you can go for one with a longer neck, definitely do. Um, and then just comfy little, comfy little armies. You're such a good girl. 
We've got lots of different types of these. Again, you can get them from all sorts of places. This one um, is also from local pet apparel. There are all sorts of sellers on Etsy who sell things like this. I also went through a period of hand making them myself. I've got a video that I'll link to here, but you can see I've got the pattern there and some of the ones that I've made. I taught myself to sew during lockdown so that I could make these and it's really not like a difficult pattern. So um, do have a go if you're that way inclined. Right, next on the list is a snood. Um, we have lots of snoods, this one was hand knitted for us, um, I'll put the link in the description. Um, they're really easy to knit, so if you're a knitter, like go for it, if not, Etsy is your friend, there's also loads of people on Instagram who sell these, and I, as I said, I'll put the link to this one in the comments. Snoods are really useful for the long skinny necks. Here. Whoop. They're really easy to get on, really comfortable for them to wear, and it's just like an extra layer of warmth when it gets really cold. Again, this is something we'd only really use when it gets very cold, like this isn't kind of normal everyday winter wear for Jess. Um, but my general rule is if I'm wearing a jumper, she's wearing a jumper. If I'm wearing a coat, she's wearing a coat. You can tell when they're cold, you can tell when they don't want to go, go outside with you. Um, so it's just being sensitive to them, I think, and they'll let you know. When you're taking your whippet out for a walk in the winter, it's really important to avoid grit on the roads. Um, it can get into their feet and, and give them sort of like salt burns. Um, it's really uncomfortable and painful for them. So uh, if there's grit on the roads, either don't take them out, carry them over that bit, which is what we do, or you can get little booties for them, which will just protect their feet and that they might find more comfortable anyway if it's snowy outside and the ground is really cold. If you're feeling a bit strapped for cash, um, those booties are not difficult to make again with a sewing machine. Honey the Iggy has got a really good tutorial over on her page so um, I'll pop a link to that up here and you can check it out. Otherwise though I've never bought a pair so I can't recommend any but um, you can find them online. Just type in Whippet Boots I'm sure they'll come up. Okay so that's it for the wardrobe now for the sleeping arrangements. Whippets get really cold generally they also get really cold at night, like it's cold in our house at night, presumably it might be in your house too. I don't know many whippets who don't sleep in the human bed. Obviously there are some and it's totally your call, but like we find that Jess gets really cold and that snuggling up with us under our duvet um, is the way that she's most comfortable in the winter. Some people put their dogs in pajamas to sleep, maybe like the onesies I've just shown you, maybe just a jumper. We'll do that on a really cold night, but like generally speaking, Jess sleeps with no clothes on in her birthday suit and she spends the night sandwiched in between us in our bed. She actually starts off in her own bed, which we always keep a blanket in and we kind of tuck her in, tuck it around the edges. With hits, love blankets. So this is totally crucial. If you've got whippets in your house, <laughs> you gotta have blankets. We keep a blanket in every one of Jess's beds and then we keep them on our sofas as well. And like, if you've got a whippet, you'll know that like you'll walk into a room and you'll find them trying desperately to get themselves underneath the blanket. Sometimes they need a bit of help. They're not very good at like burrowing, but blankets are great. We also find that beds, dog beds with like more padding, maybe fleece lined work really well in the winter. So um, we've got one from Pets at Home that I will, link to that we mostly use as a car bed because it's got really high sides but again like a good like fleecy winter option for a bed. We've also got this really nice bed from made.com it's lasted us for like three years now um it's very very padded it's almost like a duvet so it's great for her in that respect um I don't think they're actually selling it anymore but they've got some similar ones on their website so do check it out and I'll put a link in the comments. And then another bed that we've got at the moment that we're really excited about is this one here which is uh it was a gift from Omelette and it is beautiful like again I would totally sleep in this unfortunately I don't fit basically it's built like a human sofa it's got this big spongy layer at the bottom here um, and then it comes in all different configurations so we chose to get it with these bolsters on top but you can just get it flat with sheet skins all sorts of different options um, Jess likes to kind of snuggle into a corner she finds it much she's much happier in beds that have got like something around the sides um, so that's why we went for this option but then we also got the sheepskin to go on top it's just so cozy and warm and she's really really happy on there um, we've got it next to our sofa so it's kind of like <laughs> her little sofa in our living room anyway we'll probably have a blanket on top of it as well in the winter which we kind of like tuck around the sides and I don't know tuck her in like a little burrito um, but yeah I think this is going to be really great it's not far from the radiator which is always great you don't want to have them right up next to the radiator but like being near it is definitely helpful so I think this is going to be like a key spot for her this winter especially in the evenings. We also in the winter, I mean in the summer as well, <laughs> we never go out anywhere without taking a dog bed with us because Jess just finds it really hard to settle 
metal on hard surfaces. She's got such a bony butt. Sometimes if you go to the pub and it's got like a tiled floor, then it's cold, that's hard for them as well. So we just find that if you're going out for dinner or taking them to the pub or whatever it is you're doing, like having a dog bed with you just means that you know that they're gonna be warm and we'll pack an extra fleece or something as well, just to be on the safe side. There is nothing less fun than being at the pub with a cold, uncomfortable with it. When they're comfortable, when they're warm, it's absolutely gorgeous, but if they're not, they will make your life a nightmare. So um, it's in your best interest as well to make sure that they're totally wrapped up and warm. Okay, that's it from us. Um, do drop your other keeping your whippet warm tips in the comments, because we would really love to hear them. This winter is gonna be an unprecedentedly cold one for us. So um, yeah, do just let us know what you're doing and what your plans are. In the meantime, if you wanna check out more of our videos, we've got lots of videos about looking after a whippet, lots of videos about mental health that you might enjoy as well. You can also find us over on Instagram, Jess is worried with it. I'm human.jess. Thank you for watching and see you next time for another video. Bye!